Hello everybody from Plant Reviews, today is the 15th of May and, and I'm talking in this video about the Allium Trifoliatum called uh, Camaleon. This Camaleon is a variety of Allium Trifoliatum often marketed just as Allium Camaleon. And uh, Allium Trifoliatum is uh, a, a species of uh, Allium that uh, um, comes uh, from the Mediterranean area. Indeed, this wild onion, uh, also known commonly as uh, hirsut garlic, uh, due to the leaves. Hirsut means hairy and you can see very hairy and you can see actually that the leaves are actually very hairy, especially on the margins of uh, the leaf. Uh, it's also called pink uh, allium or pink garlic. Uh, because of uh, the uh, color of the flower that uh, usually are pinkish white when they open and becomes uh, and become uh, a lot uh, pinker when they are uh, fading and this uh, is uh, a, a species that is actually quite common in uh, the Mediterranean countries where uh, it is uh, native, in particular France, Italy, Malta, Greece, Turkey, Lebanon, Palestine, Israel and uh, Egypt. Uh, Allium trifoliatum is a perennial bulbous plant and uh, it, is, uh, it can grow up to 30 cm tall. Uh, actually in my pot uh, this is a lot smaller, they're about 15-20 cm tall, but again 30 cm is usually the maximum size of this uh, allium. Uh, Chameleon is uh, a um, species, sorry, is a variety of uh, the trifoliate allium that as you can see uh, produces these uh, hum umbels of flowers that are uh, a little bit loose, uh, not that uh, not as packed as uh, uh, many other alliums and uh, also I would say with not so many flowers probably in this variety there are about 10-15 uh, flowers however the flowers are really gorgeous you can see this uh, uh, the white color uh, very uh, bright is a bright white uh, is actually um, split in half uh, every tepal by a pinkish purple uh, line uh, that basically divide the petal in uh, two and this gives an overall appearance uh, to the flower as a kind of uh, uh, pale pink but again uh, as you can see here when the flowers are fading they become they tend to become a lot pinker than when they open you can see indeed here in uh, the same umbel in the same basically uh, flower stem of this bulb you can see that uh, the flowers don't open all together they open uh, sequentially so you can see the youngest buds still closed they are white with this purple line then they open still white and you can clearly see this uh, uh, purple pink purple line um, splitting the middle of the uh, tepal. Uh, then um, when the flowers age become progressively uh, pinker as this flower and then when they basically are fading become uh, clearly clearly pink as you can see very well defined pink and uh, you can still see that this uh, line the purple line in the middle uh, is actually kind of uh, um, fading in the tepal uh, kind of uh, uh, distributing its color to the tepal so in if you uh, in a uh, garden mainly based with uh, uh, pinks uh, lilac purple uh, and whites this uh, garlic uh, is really a plant that blends uh, very well in such a garden considering anyway the uh, very small size of this allium uh, nowhere as tall as uh, the usual alliums uh, the most famous alliums for gardens such as say Globemaster or uh, um, ambassador. Uh, they also are the different color like lilac purple. Uh, this one definitely is better in the front or at the most in the mid border of the garden however will do very well in a pot uh, like I am cultivating this, um, this 
variety. The scent of the of this allium is very light and basically actually smells of garlic so it's not particularly delightful however uh, the pollinators insect pollinators uh, uh, are really fond of these flowers as of uh, uh, in general of uh, all the alliums uh, um, available for sale for garden uh, for ornamental purposes in the garden uh, about uh, the um, cultivation of this plant uh, this plant uh, uh, like uh, all the alliums i know uh, really thrives in full sun and in well-drained soil. However, uh, many alliums cultivated in the UK are usually quite hardy even to colder climates uh, uh, such as uh, USDA uh, 6 or 7. To the best of my knowledge, uh, most of the sources I found uh, state that uh, allium trifoliatum is uh, hardy only in USDA zones uh, 8 to 11. So this is probably due to the, to the fact that this comes actually from uh, very warm Mediterranean, well not very warm really, but still Mediterranean areas that uh, do not experience uh, uh, prolonged frosts anyway. And uh, uh, this then, uh, in my opinion, is uh, uh, a plant that is still very suitable in uh, uh, most of the UK because the USDA zones in the UK is uh, generally 9 and 8. Uh, most of the UK is in USDA zone 8 and uh, several coastal parts are actually in USDA on 9. However, if you live in um, areas colder than USDA 8, you might need to protect this, the bulbs from uh, prolonged frosts. Nevertheless, I found that some other sources say that uh, Allium Camaleon is actually hardy down to minus 5, but again, I can't really guarantee because I, can't, I didn't find any uh, really consistency about uh, the USDA zones where this Allium is uh, hardy. I am in, uh, in USDA 8 uh, and I kept this spot outdoors uh, all year round and uh, we experienced a few cold days this year. It didn't snow but uh, we had a uh, frosty morning uh, for a few days in winter and really this allium has done perfectly fine so I can definitely guarantee this is an allium uh, perfectly hardy in USDA zone 8 and then of course uh, USDA 9, uh, 10 and 11 where uh, the large USDA zones, uh, anyway, most of the countries uh, are in these USDA zones, uh, most of the areas of the countries where this species is distributed. Uh, however, again, I can't really guarantee for USDA zones lower than, uh, than 8. Uh, in my opinion, this is a cute species of uh, allium, of wild onion, uh, actually sorry, a variety, not a spe the species is allium trifoliatum, but the variety is chameleon, because of course uh, changes color throughout the blooming. Uh, however, uh, I believe that uh, um, the flowers are not so showy as uh, other alliums uh, and uh, so really in a garden with pastel colors I think will do great but uh, uh, I really have a thing for um, uh, flowers with very vivid uh, colors and uh, uh, this one really even if it's obviously nice feature the uh, flower that changes color throughout the blooming doesn't really uh, fit with my uh, preference however again remember this is just a personal opinion you found you might find this variety really really um, gorgeous and beautiful and I mean it is if you like uh, pastel colors uh, pinkish and uh, white uh, is really a species sorry a variety I can definitely recommend as usual I hope that you enjoyed the video ah sorry a last word about uh, the bulbs uh, the bulbs of this allium are actually pretty common is uh, uh, not a very difficult variety to find I found it in a garden center however you can find it easily online as well and uh, of course if you have any other questions uh, that uh, I uh, might not have uh, uh, answered already in the video please write them in the comment down below and I will be happy to respond to you as soon as possible if you like this video would be great if you can please give a thumbs up and if you like this video and the other videos on my channel would be great of course if you can please subscribe thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time bye